Hey folks, this is Jeff of SimSamurai.net. Uh, this is another tutorial um, for cockpit assembly. Um, basically, uh, in a previous video I showed you how to make a little drill template for making your various holes in the wall frame members of the HX1 Habu or the CS1 Stallion. Um, and a lot of what I talk about um, in all these videos can also apply to the other models such as the XS1, AX1, LX1, etc. Um, basically, you know, when you're assembling wall frames for the HX1 or CS1, it will behoove you to work in unison on each wall, meaning, you know, pick a piece once you have them cut, pick the same piece from each wall, and then measure out where your drill holes need to go on both pieces at the same time. So as you can see here, um, for example, you know, if this was the HX1, this is wall member I. If this was the CS1, um, this would be wall member G. Um, and again, we've got one for the right wall, one for the left wall. And if you look on the end here, you'll see how I mark them. Um, basically, I put a circle around what member it actually is, and then the other letter is the wall frame that it intersects into. This will greatly help you stay organized and remember which piece needs to go where. Um, and also, when you're marking these and cutting these, if I, if I have discussed before, um, you know you want to pay attention to how you want to face the board before you cut it. Um, as you can see. My nicer faces will be facing inside towards you, the pilot, um, and then the outer faces that are rougher are going to get covered by your exterior skin material. And so just doing that and paying attention to you know, how the piece of wood looks and how to face it before you cut it um, will just you know, make you have a, a nicer finished product and it'll just look a lot smoother, a lot cleaner once you're sitting in and it's painted. So basically what I wanted to go over really quickly is using a drill template um, I had made these marks up from the bottom. This is where, if it's the HX1, this is where G and H, uh, these two marks are where G and H would attach to I. If this is the CS1, this is where E and F would attach to G. Um, and so these are the front faces which face towards the front of the cockpit. Um, and so I just made the measure mark up and, and using the drill template, you know, you just uh, center the template over the 3.5 inch like that. You know, scribe a line on both sides and then make your marks with your pencil. Color them in like that. And there you go. Now you've got your points. And again, you can do this with your own drill. You could actually hold it in place and screw it down with the drill like that if you really wanted to. Of course, that would kind of wear out your template more quickly, though. Um, or you could drill these out on your drill press if you have one once they're marked. And then, same thing, you just come up here, do the same on the other piece, mark it scribe at both sides and then mark your holes for where you're going to drill um, your holes. Now if you're going to paint your pieces before you pre-assemble the wall basically what this helps these pencil marks allow you to know that you know when you position the other piece into place um, you know those pencil lines you know that you need to stay in between those two. Um, but however if you were to paint these pieces first before you pre-assemble the wall obviously there's two methods you can pre-assemble the whole wall first then using like a four inch roller and a three inch brush you can paint the wall frame once it's totally assembled but if you don't do that and you're going to mark these out first uh, like that pre-drill the holes and then paint them and then come back um, you know obviously you'd be painting over your pencil marks and wouldn't know exactly where your 2x4 needs to sit. So the other thing that you can do if you plan on painting all your pieces before you pre-assemble your walls is instead of using a pencil or in addition to using a pencil you can use a, a, what, a scribe. I get these from uh, Harbor Freight Tools. They're kind of like dental picks but they're great for scribing aluminum, they're great for scribing wood but you could just scribe that line on each side too and then once it's painted um, you would actually still see the indentation of where you had scribed that line into the wood. Um, you can see a little bit right there. So even once that's painted, you'd still be able to make out that scribe line, which would provide your, uh, your perimeter distances for attaching the intersecting 2x4. Um, so that's it. But as you can see, you, know, you want to measure, you know, lay your pieces out properly, make sure you know, you know which ends are the tops or the bottoms, make sure you've got them faced the right way, um, and then mark two out at a time. So this is for one wall, this is for the other wall. Um, and then do that you know, for all your door frame pieces as well. It'll just help you kind of speed up the process um, of your wall assembly. Um, so that's it for this video. Thanks again. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you down the road. Bye.